Audio Jungle. Alex and everyone's favorite bird, Archie! Today's video is a wish haul. I've done a lot of these I spent $500 at wish type of videos, but this is definitely the biggest collection of clothing that I have ever showed in a Wish video. That's right guys, this is a Wish clothing haul. It's a try on haul and I'm very, very excited because I ordered some interesting and unusual pieces of clothing. My thought process was, a couple of weeks ago when I was browsing on Wish, how about I give the Wish Express shipping a try? So everything that I picked, I sorted by express shipping only, and then I only chose things that could arrive within the week. Everything that I bought had an estimated arrival time of about one week from the day that I bought it. So what I'll do, I will show you guys me shopping for the stuff so you can see what I picked, and then you'll be able to see when the things actually turned up. So, I filtered by express shipping. So on the left here, there's a little filter, clicked express shipping. I'm very interested to see if this stuff actually turns up uh, in a timely manner. Usually it takes months and months and months for these things to arrive, so this is gonna be an interesting test. Right off the bat, I can see quite a pretty looking top. I'm just gonna open up these things in new tabs. A Bane mask. I was born in the darkness. A Sheba hoodie. Oh, that's adorable, but that's $32. I like that they've got just a big 0% right there. Like, you get 0% off. This is very pretty. It's pink. Now, this is interesting. Women off shoulder long sleeve hollow lace loose blouse top t shirts, colors white and black. So let's go small in white. And that's $12 shipping and the top is $11.50. This is cool. Summer Women Fashion Star Printed See-Through Mesh Mini Dress Ladies Evening Beach Party Casual Dress. It's verified, it has blue tick, unlike me. $11.26 shipping again, but it arrives by next Wednesday. I would honestly much prefer if the shipping just said free and they just added that amount to the price of the clothes. In my head, I would prefer that. <laughs> okay, what's this? Uh, not for me. Unless, is there a big one? What do these sizes even mean? Is there a size chart? 12 months, six years. Let's go for six in pink. Would be $24. Do I really wanna spend $24 on something that would fit a six year old in the hopes that it would possibly fit me like a crop top? Yes, the cart is $223. I was willing to spend $250 though, so I'm just gonna go have a look through this page a little bit closer. Might add a couple more things to cart, hang around and see. So I may or may not have ended up adding in a bunch of really, really, really weird clothes, and this video has just taken a crazy turn because this stuff is insane. I have ended up with scrunchies, a mesh top, a crazy cape dress, a beautiful pink coat, a corduroy jacket, a fancy skirt, a wedding dress, a fancy senorita dress, a potato hoodie, a strawberry dress, a nautical dress, a doll's kill skirt, a vintage looking dress, a pretty skirt, another pretty skirt, another pretty skirt, jeans, crazy pants, a jumpsuit, jeans, cargo pants, a bralette, a toddler's sweater, a tight black top, a Shiba hoodie, a mesh top, a peasant shirt, and a mesh top as well. It's also $581 now. Now we just have to see how long it takes for the stuff to arrive. So it's October 28th and most of these things were express shipping. Most of them said they should arrive by next Wednesday. So I'll see you in just over a week or you'll, you'll see me. Hey guys, just taking a moment to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Audible. If you don't already know, Audible is an incredible audiobook app that I absolutely love. Usually when I talk about Audible, I tell you about amazing novels that I've been listening to. But this time, in honor of a recent video of mine that gained me a huge amount of subscribers, it was a video where I only ate food from 7-Eleven in Japan for a week and so many new people subscribed and I know that those people love Japan and travel and are interested in maybe learning some Japanese. So I just wanted to share with you an audiobook I've been listening to called Learn In Your Car 
Japanese, the complete language course. This audiobook offers three levels of learning. It goes from beginner to intermediate to advanced, and it teaches pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. If you want to give it a try for yourself, right now for a limited time only, you can get Audible for three months for just $6.95 a month. You get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals absolutely free. That's over half off the regular price. If you don't know what an Audible original is, they're audio titles created exclusively for Audible listeners. So if you want to give it a try for yourself, just head to audible.com slash prettypastel or text prettypastel to 500-500 if you're in the United States. Christmas is right around the corner, so if you want to gift yourself an Audible subscription to help you get through those long drives to visit your family and friends during the holidays, I promise you're going to love it. So if you want to try it for yourself, just head to audible.com slash prettypastel or text pretty pastel to 500 500. And with that, let's check out these clothes from Wish. <laughs> well guys, it is Wednesday the 6th and um, everything was supposed to have been here by today. It's 5pm. Uh, if any parcels were going to be delivered, it would have happened by now. So the only things that have turned up, we, we have two things and that's it. And we're not off to a good start because I pulled this out of the bag and I was like, I don't remember ordering anything brown. After a little bit of investigation, I have found that this is indeed the pink coat. I am going to have to contact Wish Support and get a refund because if it ain't pink, it's stink. This was a $50 coat and shipping for this was $9. So for $50, you would expect it would turn up as the right colour. It didn't. And also for $50, I would have hoped it would have um, felt a lot nicer than this. This is obviously what you should expect when you're ordering off Wish. Do not get your hopes up and think that you're going to get an excellent value piece of clothing. You, if it looks too good to be true, it is most likely too good to be true. If I saw this in a store, just picking this up, I would pay $15 for it. It's got a lot of buttons all over the front of it, and it does come with a belt at least, so that's not too bad. Let's try it on. Okay guys, here it is. Not the most flattering. Oh, it does have pockets though. Wow. Okay, so it could be the most terrible jacket in the world, but if it had pockets, I would still wear it. I don't think it's flattering in the slightest. Potentially, if this was pink, it would look a lot better. The belt is uh, really, really weird. It doesn't really have a proper belt mechanism. It, it's this clip here. Usually when there's a clasp like this, it's sort of attached to the very end, but this is just a free floating clasp. When you put the belt through this buckle, you kind of get left with these crossover bits of fabric like this, which, oh, sorry. This is supposed to be at the front here, but then what do these do? Like in the picture, it looks like they sort of go all the way around the back. Ooh. That's gonna be a delivery. I thought it might have been a wish parcel, but it's just my Uber Eats. So this is a good segue for me to go have lunch. Okay, so I'm done with lunch and I've had some time to examine the expectation photo. So I've basically done this up as close as I can to the picture. So in the picture, it looks like they've got the neckline sitting really high. They've got all the buttons done up. I figured out with the belt, it's easier to just tie it at the back. That's basically all I can really do with it to make it look like the belt in the pictures. I did notice that the expectation photo, the skirt is a lot more voluminous. It's got pleats on it. This one kind of just flops down, hangs a little bit sadly. So for $50, huge fail. I have contacted Wish Support. I had to take a photo of the coat. No buttons. I had to take a photo of the coat and send it to Wish Support. So hopefully they'll give me a refund. Because if I don't get a refund, I'm going to feel extremely gypped paying $50 for a not pink coat that looks really sad. I look like a budget detective from like a 1950s cop show. And the only other item of clothing that's turned up so far is this white dress. This looked so beautiful in the photos. I was so excited about it. You know what? The lace isn't too bad. It's got these little lacy bits on the sleeve here. It's got a v-neck. It's got a zip going all the way down the back of it. I can see some loose threads on this stitch here. Doesn't look as long as the pictures and it doesn't look quite as voluminous. This one was $32 and I paid $9 shipping for it, so let's say about $40. Until I put it on, not sure if it's going to be worth the $40. If it looks like it does in the pictures, it's definitely worth it. In the expectation photos, it had buttons running all the way down the zip and it also had a really nice train on it. That's definitely not happening here. Thumbs are not for eating. Okay, so while this definitely is not the dress from the pictures, the one in the pictures is 
glorious. I think it may even be a wedding dress. I do want to make a video where I try wedding dresses from Wish, but I do have a feeling that if I did that, they'd all kind of turn out something like this. You see the inspiration photo, they've sort of roughly taken that, they've copied it, not even as best they can. It's like they didn't even try. I really like these sleeves. I love sleeves like this. I like the level that the v-neck sits at. I like the belt around here. The back is okay. You can see my bra here, so you probably need to invest in a strapless bra with a dress like this. The length is actually perfect. It's just touching my feet, and when I wear heels, it sits at a really, really nice level. I'm sure you could get a lovely dress like this from a website other than Wish that's a much more reputable website. If you've seen dresses like this anywhere, please let me know in the comments below, because I would love to get one that's a little bit better quality. This though, considering it's only $40, I do think $40 is worth it. I would actually pay $40 if I walked into a store and picked this up off the shelf, had a feel of it, thought, this is a beautiful dress, I'd happily pay $40 for this. So this one is, I'm gonna say a win. I'm actually very, very happy. This makes up for the fail of the previous one. Now I just have to wait and see what else turns up over the next few days. It's all supposed to be here by now, so let's see what actually turns up within the next few days. <laughs> okay guys, it is the 14th of November now, so it's been over a week since the expected delivery date of my wish items and something unexpected happened. I uh, went up to the post office to check and all of this was there. So it all arrived this morning and all of it arrived together and there's a lot of clothing in all of these parcels. What I find strange is if you've ordered off Wish before, you'll know that normally parcels will come one at a time. But the fact that I can see there's multiple, multiple items piled into each one of these parcels, they've all come together. So why did I pay shipping for each individual item? So anyway, let's open up the big parcel. And inside this parcel is lots of little parcels. One, two, three, there were seven in that one parcel. I cannot understand why it's all arrived together. The only thing that I can think of is perhaps the clothes have all come from the same factory. So the first item. So this is the black jumpsuit. Looks like it's very, 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 very long. There's also a belt here with it. So this one was $25 with $6 shipping. My first impressions, this actually feels really, really nice. It doesn't look like it's poorly made at all. I don't see any loose stitches anywhere. The fabric is very soft and also it doesn't look opaque. Sometimes when you order black clothing items off Wish, they turn up and you can see straight through them. This doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. On the one hand, I actually think it's kind of stylish. I really like the one shoulder thing. This is a little bit difficult here because this just keeps slipping down. And if you're going with a strapless bra or something, you're, you're gonna have to pin it probably there so that doesn't fall down. Also, depending on the length of your torso, it's um, got an interesting camel toe situation going on. That's because my torso is too long for this. The pants are actually fitting at quite a good length. When I walk, they're just gracing the top of my feet, so wearing shoes, they lift up off the ground with high heels. Wherever the original one of this is from, it's probably a very, very nice jumpsuit. The fabric is quite good, it's not too sheer. I just wish that the length of the torso was a little bit longer, and I also wish that the belt had more structure to it, because in the expectation photo, the belt is quite chunky, and this is also a chunky piece of fabric, but the problem is, it just like, folds in on itself like that. It doesn't want to stay chunky. So I feel like this definitely needs a more structured belt around the waist. But other than that, this one gets a couple of points. It doesn't get excellent points, but it gets a couple of points for being a very good effort. Okay, next up are these red pants. I'm quite surprised. These don't feel bad at all. They feel a little bit thin, unusual, very soft, silky kind of fabric, but also feels very synthetic. They have this very strange detail down here, like a like a fishnet mesh detail. They've also got a lot of zips all over them by the looks of it. There's a zip in the center and then you've got two zips. Are they real pockets? The pockets are fake. The pockets are fake. These pants are $22 with $4 shipping. Nice shade of red, just like under Archie's wings. Same red. Okay, so this is the closest that I can get to what the model was wearing, because this is the only black bralette that I have. Dan said to me he thinks that it looks like I'm about to go skiing. Uh, I think skiing and potentially raving at the same time, that's what I would say. I really like the zipper details that are all over this. This looks really, really cool. Cannot think of an occasion that I would ever wear this, 
but I really, really like the length of the pants. I feel like if I unpicked them at the base, they would be a very, very wide cargo pant, which I would really enjoy. I actually love the mesh details. I don't know where this is originally from. Not my style, like I said, but if, you, if you're into this style and you like these very offensive red pants and you want to look like a firefighter that's going skiing and raving at the same time, then I would definitely recommend these. Next up is this pin-up style dress. Now this was $24 with $6 shipping. I'm not impressed by the feel of it. The fabric is very, very coarse. Not a nice texture at all. Also, it looks like it's quite large. I don't think that this is going to hug my waist. In the pictures, it looks like it's very form-fitted. Definitely doesn't look like it's going to be form-fitted. I won't know until I put it on though. It's also got these two little tiny straps that you tie around your neck. I do wish that that was just a a sort of elastic-y kind of halter neck that you could just pull over. Uh, there have been some accidents in the past with mean people yanking on the bow. You know the rest. <laughs> okay, so as I suspected with this one, the fit is way off. There's a huge amount of excess fabric here, so... This one could do with some alterations. I would probably have to pin it in at the back like that. The skirt doesn't look very flattering. The way that it falls, it's not as pretty as it is in the pictures. I think as a dress and as a style, this is actually a really nice look. I love the nautical theme. It's very Marilyn Monroe. Unfortunately, the size and the fit and the way that the skirt falls is just not right for me. Also, it feels really cheap. It's really poor quality. Not happy with the way that this feels in the slightest. These straps are really thin. They don't feel like they're going to be very durable. So I'm, I'm really sad. I thought that this one could have been so much better than it is. These camo pants are $24 with $4 shipping. These look okay. I'm seeing some loose stitches, but they actually feel like some pants I got from Dolls Kill. They even feel like pants I've bought from Lazy Oaf. I would not think that these were from Wish. If they belonged to a friend and I saw them, I wouldn't think they were Wish pants. They actually feel quite good. This is very out of my ordinary style, but obviously because I was only shopping from the Wish Express shipping tab, I was a bit limited with my clothing selection. But it's, it's fun to try new things. I used to live in camo pants. I, I lived in them. I'm very sorry that it's not green camo. I will not blend in with you. I'm sorry. Okay, so here are the camo pants. I was wearing these and I saw Daniel a second ago and Dan felt them and said he thought they felt really cheap. But to me, I have bought camo pants like this, or cargo pants, that feel like this off Pretty Little Thing, Boo Hoo, Dolls Kill. They all feel relatively similar. It's just like a standard soft... Oh, do you know what you'd call this? <laughs> it's not that bad, Daniel. It's actually nice. It's uh, very comfortable. It's parachute soft. Parachute material? Parachute no. material. Parachute. Almost like windbreaker material. Kind of plasticky feeling fabric. I think they're super comfortable and I love the way that they fit. I think with this white top and boots, they look really cool. I'm not the biggest fan of cargo pants that cinch in around the ankles, but surprisingly, I don't mind the way that these do that. I, I love this look. Not particularly my style, but at least the way that they're black and white, I can get away with wearing pastel with this if I wanted to. I love that there's these pockets around here, and there's pockets on the side, and they're real pockets, and they're very, very deep pockets too. So these, these are a great success. Here it is. This is the children's sweater. This is potentially, potentially going to fit me. This one was $25 with $5 shipping. This feels very good. I'm so surprised. There are no words. All I can say is this feels excellent. Like the knit, it's a very heavy knit, really, really well done. I don't see any loose threads. Sometimes with these cheap knitted things, you worry that the threads are pulling in funny places. It's very heavy. It feels like it's going to be very warm. It's not incredibly soft, but I feel like after a couple of washes, it will soften up. The color is perfect. Guys, I am shaken to my core. It fits and it's lovely, lovely. Let me just, sorry, I know I'm triggering a lot of people right now. Is that better? This is soft, it's comfortable, it has a beautiful turtleneck. The turtleneck is so high. I actually really like that the sleeves are short. Obviously they're short because it's intended for six-year-olds. It's so strange to me that they made this so incredibly well and it's from the kids section. I firmly believe that products made for young 
kids on Wish are better quality than products made for adults. It's like, they're like, we don't want to screw around with the kids. The kids get the good stuff. If an adult is dumb enough to buy from Wish, you'll get what you get. But children, no, you can't mess with the children. This is one of the nicest shades of pink in a top that I have. I have a big you know, row of, oh, let me just show you. I have all of my sweaters over here and this pink is the nicest pink. None of the sweaters behind me there are as nice as this pink. If I went into a store and I saw this for a hundred bucks, I would buy it. I'm not even kidding. I never expected this would be as good as it is. I thought it was going to be rubbish. I didn't think that the pink would be a nice shade of pink. I thought that there would be loose stitches and everything everywhere. I wish you could just reach through the screen and feel this because it feels excellent. Let me get a second opinion. I could be crazy. Oh, husband. Yeah, it's really well knitted. Well knitted, that's right. Do you know where it's from? Um, Wish? Sorry, it's from Fashion Nova. This is the medieval dress. We've got very long sleeves. This is very Cersei from Game of Thrones. There's the hood. It's got the lace-up detail at the front. This one was $25, but it had $19 shipping. And it came in the same parcel as all those others. So this is just a, a testament to the fact that the shipping is nonsense on Wish, because if you're paying $20 shipping, you'd think that there'd be a reason for that. But if it came in the same parcel, it's just come from the same place. So they're really just putting whatever price that they want on the shipping so that the price of the item looks more attractive. When I saw the picture, I thought, wow, $25 for that, that's a steal. Really, it's 40 something. But you know what? Even though it's a little bit thin, I actually have high hopes. I think that this could work out really, really well. Can I get some uh, guttural throat chanting in here, please? So, I can't tell if I feel like I'm from Game of Thrones, or if I feel like I'm from a cult, or I'm from Skyrim, potentially. I'll tell you what, though. I think that this is one of my favourite purchases ever. I think that the colours are beautiful. I love this royal blue, it's so nice. It's got the lace-up details at the front, the beautiful big hood. I really do feel like the mother of birds. Let me summon my familiar. Tell me if you would wear this for Halloween, because when I was searching for Wish Halloween things, this came up as a Halloween costume, and I thought to myself, I don't think it's good enough to be a Halloween costume. Tell me if you would wear something like this to a Halloween party, or tell me what other occasion that you'd wear this. Uh, I, I guess maybe like a photo shoot in a misty forest or something, that would be nice. The thing that I love most about this is the neckline. I think that the neckline is actually very, very flattering. Now obviously, I can't really go wearing this out for social occasions. This is going to sit in my costume pile for a while, but I want a reason to wear this. And the only reason that I can think is making a video like I wore crazy clothes from Wish for a week. I could totally go to the grocery store wearing this for a video. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you would like to see that. If this video gets like, 20,000 likes. I will wear this out in public and wander around. Maybe I'll even wear it for a week. Who knows? What do you think of this, Dan? Love it. You love it? Yeah, it's really cool. I think it's sick. Yeah, just like, you should dim the lights and just like... Red candles. Lights. Dim the lights and get candles and... Like red light? Red light? No. Yeah, get like the smoke machine going. Okay, so we need red light. We need a smoke machine. We need candles. And now I can sing in Latin. Next up we have this pink tulle skirt. This was $23 with $5 shipping. The colour is a little... Not green. The colour is different to what I expected in the best way possible. This is a beautiful baby pink. There's a lot of volume here. It's not very long though. It looks quite short. This is maybe just going to go a little bit past my knees, but in the pictures I thought it was a tiny little bit longer. There's also no belt with it. They had like a, a black belt around it or a ribbon. I'm very impressed by the colour. I have a pink skirt just like this from Dolls Kill and that was a very expensive skirt. So $25, $5 shipping, so let's call it 30. This seems like it could be worth it. Okay, so this skirt, I am beyond happy with this skirt. I like this so much more than the tulle skirt that I got from Dolls Kill and this is a fraction of the price of that one. This is stunning. I love the color of the pink. I feel like a princess or like a Barbie. That's why I'm wearing my Barbie turtleneck here. I don't know if the turtleneck necessarily goes with it. What would you guys pair with a skirt like this? I feel like a very skin tight top goes nicely because there's so much volume down here. 
I actually really, really like the length of this one. It looks super cute with high heels. I'm going to wear this so much. You guys, you're going to see it on my Instagram, which is pretty pastel please, by the way. If you want to go follow me there, you can stalk my Wish outfits and all my other things going on. I highly recommend this one. If you want to get a really cute tulle skirt, you would never think that you would find one on Wish. I didn't expect this to turn up and be as nice as it is. I think some people arguably would say it's it's cheap and it looks cheap and they don't like it. This is my personal preference, my choice, like the way I see it, I actually really, really like it. Okay, on to the next parcel now. How many are in here? One, three things in this parcel. Denim, we have jeans and it's real denim. I don't believe it. So I've picked up a couple of jeans in my last few videos. In my Shein haul, I got jeans and my friend Tiasha got jeans, but it was fake denim. And in my Fashion Nova video, I also got two pairs of jeans. These look promising. These were $28 with $8 shipping. Now the jeans on, the jeans on Fashion Nova were like 35 US dollars, so maybe like almost 50 Australian dollars. So these are significantly cheaper. I'm not expecting they're going to be as good as Fashion Nova jeans. They look a little bit short. These are going to cut off way too short for me. I love long. What? I love long jeans. They're not quite long enough. I can see that straight away. But we do have a lot of buttons. We have pockets on the front, pockets on the back. These look very promising. <laughs> oh boy, guys. The jeans. From here, they actually don't look too bad, do they? They look all right. If you just, if you just take it from here up, they're nice, high-waisted, lots of buttons. I prefer buttons to having a fly because it's easier to notice when it's come undone compared to a fly. But the problem here is the length. The, they are the most horrible length ever, not like the ones in the pictures. In the pictures they looked long with a big bell bottom at the base. These cut off at a really, really awkward height. And the bell bottom, it's not a proper flare. It's embarrassing. I don't know if I could ever wear these. I can't imagine how these are gonna work. But what I'm tempted to do is cut them off here and just have shorts, you know, like three quarter length shorts or something. I feel like that's the best option for me because as they are right now, I could never wear them. But I will say the denim, the quality of the denim and the make of the jeans in terms of just looking at them from here up, they're just like Fashion Nova jeans and they're cheaper. But the problem is, yeah, that, that, that length thing, big no. <laughs> okay, we have the jacket. It's not what I thought it was. I thought this was corduroy, but it's like denim. It feels like denim. A little bit softer than denim, but I'm pretty sure it is denim. This was $26 with $6 shipping. This is looking very promising. Now I'm pretty sure that this is Lazy Oaf or Monkey or some sort of trendy brand, uh, like a knockoff. But again, this is another one that I would not have thought came from Wish. I would definitely think that this was a Lazy Oaf top if I saw this hanging up in a friend's wardrobe. This looks so promising. I was concerned it was going to turn up as a, a terrible expectation reality, which would have made for a good thumbnail, but I'm very, very happy that it's exactly what I was expecting. We've got pockets on the front. Pockets on the front! Real pockets! Wow, wow. Need I say more? I thought that they were going to be actual buttons, but they pop. So excellent if you're uh, a party animal and you want to just pop it off and twirl it around your head. This is one of my favorite wish purchases of all time. Uh, no, 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 no buttons. This is so comfortable. The fabric, the denim, I think that it's denim. It's lovely. It's really soft. It's really movable. It's warm. The print, the design, the colors, everything about this is amazing. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this, you have no idea. No, 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 no. I wanna say, I wanna leave it on and keep talking about it, but Archie just wants to consume. Here, let me just put myself in the way and say that, say what I need to say about this. Excuse you, excuse you. I, I. Tell me what you guys think about this jacket but I, I adore it. This is one of the best jackets from any of my haul videos. It's super cheap, and I'm sure that if you wanted to get this same look from a store like Lazy Oaf or Monkey or something, you'd be up for easily $120. I got a denim jacket in an ASOS video a little while ago. No, no, no touch, no. And uh, it had Hello Kitty all over it, and that was like $150 or even $200, I think. I could iron on some Hello Kitty patches all over this. You know what, I think I might just do that. I, no, no, I don't want to ruin it actually because I like it the way it is. No, you can't have the buttons. No. Oh. Ah! 
I am also excited. Okay, so this is that uh, mermaid salsa dancing dress. What? $40, $8 shipping. Not what I was expecting. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> this just looked so luxurious in the pictures. It's definitely just a, a very cheap copy. Don't know how this is going to look until I put it on. This is not stretchy. I don't think that my, sh no. No, my, my, sh my shoulders aren't going to fit. My shoulders are not going to fit in here. Like, uh oh. <laughs> uh. Hang on, just let me. Sorry, don't mind me. Just trying to bust out of a straight jacket here. If I hulk, oh. ah, ouch. I was trying to hulk some extra room for my shoulders, but it's just hurting. <laughs> okay, so I, I see where this one was going. I see what they were trying to do with it. A terrible execution. I think I got this in either a small or a medium and I mean, I'm I'm really, really struggling here. This is so tight. If only this top part was elastic. Now, I reckon I could cut it down the back maybe and put lace to get a little bit more room. Lengthwise, it's an all right length. Definitely the expectation photo had a lot more volume in the skirt. Looked like a real twirling dancing kind of skirt. This one, it doesn't twirl as much as I would like. The lace is a very cheap copy of the lace from the original. This one is just... A really really massive fail unfortunately and I think it was quite expensive too from memory so not very happy about this. <laughs> this next parcel is a big one. Let's see how many are in here. One, two. Twelve. Twelve parcels just came out of that big parcel. Think about that. That's twelve lots of shipping individually that I just paid for, for all of that to come in the same parcel. Can you imagine like buying off Fashion Nova and paying a shipping cost for every single individual item that you receive in your parcel? So this one is $8 with $6 shipping. This feels shocking. Wow. Okay, I feel like it'll look nice. It should look nice, but these little things here, this is plastic. This, I, I thought this was going to be metal, but it's plastic. It feels heinously cheap. This is also that very, very sheer kind of black fabric that I was talking about before. I can see the camera through this. I can see myself in the screen of the camera through this. Not high hopes. Yeah. You know what, guys? I'm actually very surprised by this top. It is super comfortable. From a distance, you'd never know that these are the tackiest, most horrible, disgusting, plastic, fake O-rings that you've ever seen in your life. They are terrible, but from a distance, you'd never know. I love this design, the cold shoulder design. Ah. And I thought that it was going to be transparent, but you can't see my bra underneath. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. It is uh, not worth it when you consider just how cheap it is and the fact that you could probably find a top like this in a regular store. If you like the style, you know, go for it, buy it on Wish, but also just bear in mind it feels really, really terrible. So don't get too close. Let people admire from a distance. If one of your friends wants to give you a hug, just tell them you're not feeling well and just keep them, keep them a couple of meters away. <laughs> okay, we have the yellow skirt, $10 with $4 shipping. Seems pretty good. This actually looks really nice. The O-ring is metal. I thought it might end up being plastic or something, you never know. Unfortunately, this doesn't have an elastic waistband, which is a shame. I like skirts with elastic waistbands because, you know, if you have a, a smaller waist or a bit of a wider waist, the skirt is still going to look nice regardless. Unfortunately, this is just straight fabric all the way. That was a, a great trick you just did there, Archie. You should join the circus. This skirt is actually one of my favorite things from this video. It fits really, really well. It's uh, not elastic around the waist like I said, but the way that it fits me, it's actually perfect. It's really comfortable. It's not pulling my legs too tight. I can walk with no problem. It's a really good height too. It sits 
very, very nicely. Just here, I can easily bend over and I'm not gonna flash anyone. I could sit down and not flash anyone from the front. The O-ring is really nice. The zip works perfectly. I wish there was a pocket or two, but that's just that's just me. I obviously just have a pocket fetish, I suppose, because I, I, I just need pockets on everything that I own. But aside from that, I'm so happy. You know what, if this comes in other colors, I'm actually, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna go online and see if there's any other versions of this skirt because this is probably, in terms of fit and length, one of the best plaid skirts that I've literally ever tried out of any of my videos. So this one gets five whole stars from me and I don't dish out stars very easily, so this is a great success. I have no idea what this is. I didn't order this. There's only one thing that I can think that this is, and it's the daisy skirt. $13 with $5 shipping for the daisy skirt, and I do remember that there were other prints available. I selected the daisy print, perhaps they were sold out of the daisy print and they've just sent me this one. This looks awful. Actually, an update. So I contacted Wish Support about the coat, and the next day they gave me a full refund. So I guess I'm gonna have to take a picture of this and say, this is not the color that I ordered, I wanted the daisies, and I'm pretty confident that they'll give me a refund. Quite a disappointment, I was really looking forward to that skirt. <laughs> Obviously it's not the one that I ordered, I wasn't expecting this heinous print, but now that I'm wearing it, and I'm wearing it with a black top, I don't mind it. It's not terrible. It's not the daisies though. I did want the daisies. So if you know where I can find a lovely skirt, like the daisy skirt that it's supposed to be, let me know in the comments below because I just, I love daisies. You might remember from my Hot Topic haul, just stick a bunch of daisies on it. That is a, a motto in life for me. I don't think sticking daisies on this skirt is going to help it at all though. But I'll tell you what, it's easy to wear. It's soft, not too short, it's quite flowy, it breathes well, it's not a heavy, sticky kind of fabric. I'm actually pleasantly surprised about the length of it. I probably wouldn't wear it though, so this is probably one for the donation bin because I think that someone, if they found this in a thrift store, I think someone would actually love it because it's, it's not bad. Okay, so this is the peasant style top. Doesn't come laced up. Look, it's your favorite. That one is $12 with $7 shipping. Doesn't feel like it's worth that. Definitely not. Feels like a $5 top. Okay, so I feel like this one has potential. You're just meant to put the string through the holes in the lace, maybe, and then it's supposed to just lace up. So give me a minute. Oh no, I want Archie to be able to help me lace this up, but there's too much string. You will have to actually fly away to be able to lace this up. Almost. Okay, so this one is definitely unusual. Now that it's done up, it's a little bit messy at the front because they don't give you any established loopholes to be able to put the string through. Uh, we just kind of guessed at it. My husband helped me to lace it up and it took a very, very, very long time. And you, you just kind of have to guess where it's supposed to go. So we, we did our best with it, but this would have been so much better if it was already done up at the front and it had a zip at the back. So you could zip it up, you know, up and down and just leave the front perfectly laced. That would have been much nicer. And also I can't I can't lift my arms any higher than this. I tried to put my hair up before and I, this is li that's the furthest that I can lift my arms. So this one is not so great. <laughs> I have the potato hoodie. $14 with $3 shipping. Look at this little guy. It is me. He's my spirit animal. He's a potato, but he could also be a turd or a diglet. This feels really, really cheap. This is not nice fabric at all. I can literally see the camera through this. That's how transparent this is. But he's so cute, I love him. Okay, so the potato hoodie. I'm very interested to hear what my husband has to say about this because Dan is an expert when it comes to hoodies. He has a very large collection of critical role hoodies, which are lovely. So, uh, Daniel. It feels really cheap. It feels cheap. You think it feels cheap? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad that you said that. It kind of smells like the stuff that, like, when you start to sweat and that, it just absorbs all the smells and it's just, like, really disgusting. Yes. Oh, yay! Yeah! $12, $5 shipping, a whole bunch of scrunchies. If you want to become a visco girl, is that what it is? This annoys me. You put a scrunchie in your hair and people say you're trying to be a visco girl. Yes, it bothers me. I've been wearing scrunchies for years before visco was a thing. So really, visco girls are trying to be pretty pastel girls. I see two here of particular interest. One for Mumtha 
and one for baby. Which one do you like more? Oh, <gasps> excuse me. Uh, okay, are we swapping today? Are you gonna wear that one and I'll wear this one? Is that it? Am I gonna wear this one? These are really, really nice little scrunchies. They're so cute, they're the perfect size. I was kind of worried because the only option that it gave me it didn't let you pick what colors that you wanted and I was really worried that there wouldn't be a purple one in there and there wouldn't be pink. I was like, what if they all turn up and they're just black and brown or something? Nope, there's literally every color I could want. There's purple and blue, red, light green, there's the vibrant green. Ah! Yes. There's white, pink, black, red, orange, dark green, brown, hot pink, white. This is my favorite buy. This is literally my favorite buy from Wish ever. If you buy anything from today's video, buy a big bunch of scrunchies. <laughs> ah! Yeah. We have a strapless bra. $2 with $2 shipping. It doesn't have any little cups built in. I was really hoping there'd be some cups built in there, but there's not. So it's literally just a little teeny tiny pink band. It doesn't have... no, it doesn't. So sometimes you can get these and they have like a little slot and you can actually put your own cups in there. I can't put any cups in this. Don't know how much wear I'll get out of this. Actually, no! I will be able to wear this because whenever you get really, really deep v-neck things and if you want to cover up, you can just put something like this on underneath. So this actually seems like a very good buy. This is not what I was expecting. This dress was $19 with $5 shipping and I thought that this was going to be, cast your mind back to my video I wore clothes from Wish for a week and I had a blue halter neck vintage dress which I adore. I thought that this was going to be the same fabric as that but it's not. It's this really horrible, oh, how do I describe this? Not satin. Ah! Oh, I wish I knew what sort of fabric this was. It's like, it's smooth. Ah! But not in, not in a good way, in a very cheap feeling way. It does come with a belt though. I, I think this could look nice. Okay, so I don't like this one at all, in the slightest. The only thing that it's got going for it is that it's got green birds on it. So I guess we're, we're happy about that? Yes. It's very long, comes down past my knees. There's no structure to the dress. In the pictures it had a lot of structure. It looked very, very pretty. But there's just something about this horrible fabric and the way that it sits and it's very thin. It just gives cheap vibes. I wouldn't feel confident wearing this out in public. It feels nasty. The skirt, there is a lot of volume to it, so perhaps if you wore some sort of petticoat underneath, it could possibly save it. But personally, I don't think that there's any saving this, and it wasn't worth the money. For the money, I thought, you know, that, that blue dress that I got in that other Wish video, that was $5, and that's one of the nicest dresses ever. And I really, really expected that this was going to be like that, but it's not. Okay, so this mesh top was $7 with $2 shipping. This is advertised as the same top they sell on Dolls Kill, which I have, so I'll pull that out to compare. <laughs> This is significantly darker. It actually feels really soft. I always worry with mesh from Wish that it's going to be very, very scratchy. Uh -huh. This feels really comfortable. Yeah. You know, it, it was quite cheap. Could be worth it. I have seen these mesh tops cheaper elsewhere though. Like on Shein and Romwe, AliExpress, you can get them super cheap. I mean, it's not expensive. It's what, like $14 or something all up with shipping. So it's okay. I hope that my head fits yeah. through this hole. Okay, so here it is. This is the one from Wish, and this is the one that it's supposed to be. It's a copy of this one from Dolls Kill. Obviously you can see huge difference in the colour. The Dolls Kill one is a very, very light blue. This one is obviously a very dark blue. This one is choking the life out of me. It is so tight and so uncomfortable, I'm not going to be able to wear this. I literally... no, no way. The Dolls Kill one has lettuce trim around the sleeves. This one doesn't. They feel somewhat similar. The Dolls Kill uh, mesh is a lot softer though. Not to say that this one isn't soft, this one is just a lot softer. So this was very very cheap though. I think that this one is at least like 30 or 40 dollars, whereas this was what, 10 or something? So value-wise if you want the look, or, or similar to the look, I would still recommend it, but I don't know what I can do about this. The, huh? I... no. <laughs> I could not wear this, it's just way too tight. Ah! What's wrong? Well, you, you pooed on my shirt. That's what's wrong. I'm so excited about this. This was $19 with $3 shipping. It's a vintage pin-up skirt. Looks really, really nice. Little bit sheer, but this is literally the one from the pictures, I think. I mean, I don't have the picture in front of me as I'm looking this. I've got the picture on the screen there. It looks very, very similar 
No idea how I'm going to style this. Also, I, I think this is supposed to be high-waisted, but that's not going to fit my waist. It's going to be very loose. This could have been a great success by the looks of it. It could have been really, really good. It may end up being a little bit of a fail, but this is actually wide enough. That's not going to fit my waist, but I could possibly wear this like this. I could maybe even wear this like a dress. So just like I predicted, I can't wear this as a skirt because this part that's supposed to sit on my waist is so large that I just can't do it. So I'm just wearing it like this for now. But what I'll do, I'll get some pins and I will tie it at the back so that I can show you what it looks like full length. It's a really, really nice length. I love the details at the bottom. There's this little bow thing here that you're supposed to tie up, but there's not quite enough string to make a proper bow. I love the white polka dots. I think this paired with a black top and some little slinky heels, it's very stylish, very vintage. I just don't know what to do about the sizing. I'm going to give it a go on the sewing machine, possibly. I'm not great at sewing, but it's something that I want to get better at. So maybe I can try and tailor this one so that it tucks in nicely at the back so I can actually wear it as a skirt, because this one definitely has potential. Okay. So this one, this was very, very skeptical, this strawberry dress, because they had a picture of the model and then they just photoshopped it into many different colors. This was $12 with $3 shipping. This ah, ah, feels really cheap. It's the same material as that floral dress. Yeah, no, this feels shocking. This feels really, really bad. Look how open that is. That is not even going to cover anything. <laughs> okay. So I can't help but feel like I'm doing something wrong here, because this looks terrible. <laughs> to be fair, in the expectation photo, she was wearing a belt, so I don't know if that's fixed the situation in any way at all. This is just strange. I feel like it's intentional. I guess if you have more going on in this department, other than a bird, you might fill it out nicely and it might look more deliberate, but I just look like a, a child swimming in their mother's dress. I don't know if there's very much to say about this. The fabric is terrible. The fit is terrible. It's at least kind of like the picture, kind of slightly. They photoshopped all of those colors onto that expectation photo and it it is blue. It turned up and it's blue. I guess it's very similar to the Photoshop version. I'm really gonna have to work with this one if I want to be able to wear this out of the house. I, at the moment, like this, I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere out of it. But, uh, points for strawberries, I suppose. So this blouse was $13 with $6 shipping. This looks lovely and it's made very well. This is another one that does not feel like it's from Wish. This feels like it's from a store, feels like it could be from Forever 21, H&M, Zara even. Oh, I'm really excited to put this on. This looks lovely. Okay, I'm really, really torn about this top. When I held it up, I thought that it was beautiful. Now that I have it on, it's a little bit awkward. So it's got mesh sleeves, but the mesh part comes right up to here. So you can see the bra straps, which is such a shame. I feel like if it was just the sleeve part that was mesh and the rest was the solid color, that would be totally fine. I've left it out, but I think tucked in, this should look quite nice. Don't you rip that mesh. Don't you do it. Okay, so tucked in, I like it a little bit better, definitely. It's so comfortable and it feels very well made. I think the color's lovely. It had a couple of different color options. No green, unfortunately. I really love the turtleneck. I think it's interesting how it's got this sort of pleating here that comes down from the turtleneck. It's very pretty. I like the length of the sleeves. It's very stretchy. It's very comfortable. The fabric is getting a little bit warm, though. You can't really get away with this on a hot day because this sort of synthetic fabric makes people sweat. This is a perfect one for work. Never thought that I would say that I could potentially find workwear on Wish, but I would happily wear this to work. I think it's very, very sophisticated. Okay, so this one was $5 with $5 shipping. This is a black, very long mesh, almost dress, and it's got stars all over it. I wonder if the stars are attached because, oh, oh, they are. See, I had a, a black mesh top from AliExpress and the little mesh details, they were love hearts and they fell off. This one, they're actually attached. I have no idea what I'm going to wear underneath this. No idea at all. I'll put something together. But tell me how you guys would style these sort of things. Okay, so I really had absolutely no idea how to style this one. So I've just put a black skirt on under it with a black bralette. It's so comfy. I'm so happy because in my AliExpress haul when I tried on that mesh black top, it was heinously itchy. 
I ripped it off within like a, a minute of putting it on. I could easily wear this all day, it's very very comfortable. I like that it's so long. You could wear this over the top of a whole bunch of different dresses, or you could wear like a cami dress over the top of this and just have the mesh showing from underneath the dress. It's actually really really cute. I recognise the model. I think that she's a model from Tiger Mist, so this could potentially be a ripped off design from Tiger Mist. If you know the original, let me know in the comments below. But this was cheap, and it's cute, and I do feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it, so actually very, very happy with this one. And we're on to the last parcel now. The Shiba Inu hoodie. This is very nice fabric. This is really warm. It's got this little Shiba guy on the front here. He's so cute! This is what I was hoping the potato one would be like. This is much better quality. This one was $28 with $13 shipping. Now that, that's a fair bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. It actually, it feels like it's worth it. You know, if you went into a store, you could literally buy a hoodie like this from Nike or Adidas. Adidas, as the Americans call it. The Shiba is so cute. I don't know where this original design has come from. I highly doubt that the seller on Wish was the original creator of this. This is going to be very warm. I can already feel this is going to be very warm. Maybe not in a good way though. This doesn't feel like it's going to breathe. This feels like clammy kind of warm, but looks like it's worth the price so far. Okay, so here's the Shiba hoodie. This is insanely comfortable. I can't believe it. It's actually got a double layer, so I can feel on the inside. There's a very, very soft plush layer on the inside that keeps you really, really nice and toasty. And then the outside, it's equally soft. It's definitely a different fabric, but it's equally soft. This is just a really easy one to throw on. It's a little bit young for me, but you know what? Wear what you want when you want at any age that you want to. I'll definitely wear this around home a lot, going to friends' houses. I can't Imagine how I would dress up a Shiba Inu hoodie. I mean, I'm just wearing a little black skirt with it right now. But this is worth every cent. I'm so impressed with the quality of this. Feels like it's from an established store. Feels like something you would probably pay 40 or $50 for. I don't know if anyone in their right mind would pay $50 for a Shiba Inu hoodie. Would you? It has a nice big hood. Sometimes I worry, I have in the past ordered hoodies off cheap websites and the hood is so small you can't actually get it over your head. This is a very very comfy hood. This is so cute. I'm very very happy with this. I've actually seen this exact hoodie advertised to me on Facebook that many times. So maybe it was just ingrained in the back of my head that I needed to buy it. So that's it guys. That's everything. I hope you liked this wish haul. If you like me doing these wish clothing videos, please let me know. Drop your items in the comments down below. Tell me what you want me to try next. I do have a wish shoe haul coming up. I have a wish wedding dress haul. I'll do wish prom dresses, all sorts of things. So give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram, it's Pretty Pastel Please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!